Hello, my name is Frederick Barkov. I'm a professor of neuroradiology here at Queen Square, where we see a lot of patients with a variety of brain diseases such as stroke, tumors, multiple sclerosis, uh, dementia. And uh, one machine that I use a lot for diagnostic purposes and to monitor these diseases is uh, MRI. And with MRI you can make a variety of nice images cutting through the brain in all directions with T1, T2 and other uh, modalities. But you can also measure perfusion and in the past if you wanted to measure perfusion you had to inject a contrast agent and do uh, complex scanning. But nowadays we have a new sequence called arterial spin labeling or ASL that can produce non-invasive quantitative maps of perfusion. The problem is that there's quite a bit of variability between subjects and I don't feel confident to use this at the moment in clinical practice and in this project we want to solve that issue. Uh, hence my collaboration with Enrico De Vita, a physicist here. Hi, my name is Enrico De Vita. I'm an MRI physicist uh, working in Queen Square and senior lecturer in the Institute of Neurology. I look after the perfusion service both using contrast agent and non-invasively using ASL. In this project we're going to use the latest ASL sequences available. We just had five years of uh, European collaboration that created a network between all the European universities to basically join resources in developing the best sequences available. So we're going to take the um, sequence that can map cerebral perfusion as well as map the arterial arrival time, so two parameters in one scan. And um, we're going to, one big part of the project would be to acquire data on healthy volunteers in order to build uh, a normal control database. In this way, once we have a patient that may have a problem with perfusion, uh, we have a single scan and we can compare the single scan from the patient to the healthy volunteer database. We're going to um, create a pipeline um, that allows the clinician to see statistical maps and do the comparison between the single subject and the volunteer database. And so we'll support the clinician in making decisions about whether there is any problem with cerebral perfusion. Okay, well, that will be wonderful, you know, to get a map showing in, in a color overlay, uh, in statistical terms, where my subject or my patient deviates from a normality to make clinical inferences. And I think UCL is the perfect place to do such a, such a research because we have very strong engineering and physics. On the other hand, we have very strong uh, clinical services and, and radiology. Uh, and I hope we can make ASL a, a valuable tool for uh, the diagnosis and the workup of our patients with a variety of brain diseases.